Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you a very important concept when, when working with objects, how to loop or iterate of over JavaScript objects and I will be showing you the two built-in methods which is for in loop using for loop and also I will be using the special method object.assign so I will be using these two methods and I will be showing you how to loop or iterate through object so first of all I will just change the title inside index.html file which is javascript looping or iterating over object and I have included the script.js file this is the business logic of the application so first of all I will be showing you the for loop the second way by which we can use it is using the object.entries method sorry not assign object.entries method in order to loop through javascript object loop or iterate through same thing that we do with arrays we will be doing it inside javascript objects so as you know object is a complex data type it contains various uh, data types so let me declare an object here a set of curly brackets and uh, it will contain some properties here name age it can have string value, numeric value, let's suppose city, this one and it can also contains array as well so a property such as hobbies so it can have array as well like this cricket uh, programming and uh, swimming traveling so these are some of the properties which are there inside the object it can also contain a object as well so a object inside an object so like this so we can have computer science 55 so this is a complex object you will see it will contain string values numeric values it can also contain array as well it can also contain a subset of object as well so this is the object which we have declared now we need to loop through it and display the result inside the browser using these two methods so what we can do is that first of all we can open it inside live server though this is the you can see clean slate nothing is there so we can declare a div here assign an id to it of result so inside this div you will dynamically put the results of this object so first I will use the for loop so in order to use this we will use for and we will write let key and then we will use the in operator like this in operator and followed by the object name that's it a set of curly brackets now we can access the key and also the value of the object as well so key is no so this is name is the key here and Gotham is the value age is the key 56 is the value so in order to print both key and value we can just say here console log uh, we can say key plus value so something like this so if I check the console here you will see it will print out so it is say value is not defined sorry this needs to be person so we are accessing the individual individual keys something similar to array here like this so if you see here now it will show you name Gotham age 56 city Delhi hobbies you can see so now we need to print this result on the browser so for that we can do here is that we can declare we can fetch the result like this we can use document dot get element by id so we have declared a id which is result here we can see we have attached the id and also we can declare one other variable which is result which is empty for now so inside this for loop we can do here is that we can dynamically modify this in each iteration so plus is equal to so we will append this so we can use let, uh, template literal string here so like this so in this way you can put dynamic variables as well so key has value 
so we can put the value which is person key that's it now we need to attach this to dom here so for attaching it we will use this special function which is append child so result dot append or we can also do this inner html as well so that's it which is equal to result that's it so if i refresh it you will see name has value gotham age has value 56 so we can also do a break tag as well after each value so it will appear it inside next lines so now this is looking great here name has value gotham age is 56 city delhi hobbies has value cricket pro comma programming comma swimming so this is coming from array and last one is object here so it is showing only object here so in this way first of all you can do this like this so if you want to get all the source code i have given the link in the video description so this is the first blog post link here which will which is using the for loop in order to iterate or loop through object the second one is uh, object dot entry so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description and now i will show you the next way guys how to do the same thing so this time we will use uh, object dot entries method which is a built-in method in javascript to loop through objects so similar what we can do is that again we will use for loop here inside let and we will write like this inside square brackets which will be key comma value and this will off we will use off operator object dot entries and here we will provide the object which is person and then set up curly brackets so in each iteration we can automatically get the key and the value like this so if i console log key plus value you will find that if i show you if i go to inspect element so you will see got name gotham age 56 again all these values are coming so we can make another append this using template string so key has value value so after that we can attach a break tag now we can add this result sorry we need to i have deleted that so document dot So also we need to declare this res variable and we can attach this to the DOM. So result.innerHTML is equal to res. So if you refresh it, you will see the same result coming again. Name has got value Gotham, age has value 56, city has values Delhi, hobbies has value this, this. So in this way you can iterate through complex objects in seconds using these two uh, two approaches that I've shown you. So whichever approach you like, you can decide. All the source code will be there inside video description. So I will be seeing you in the next video.